My first impression of Anthony was a, a very positive one. He was a great soccer player. He reminded me the body and, and the movements and the dribble. He reminded me a lot of Neymar. He had a lot of skills and uh, he scored a lot. He was a score leader. If you compare like a basketball, like you see LeBron, very quiet outside, but on the field was like a giant. He's a leader. He's the kind of person that people follow. That was a professional club in Brazil, and they, they was very impressed with the, the games that we record here. And one of the players was Anthony. They say if they could invite them to come to Brazil and do a tryout, that was a possibility. I believe that Anthony was on the right direction. With the right connection, he could play professional football. I like to play soccer every day, try hard to do my, my best. I've just gotten a horrific piece of news. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, an active shooting situation. Parkland is a quiet community. It's a community that's known for its parks. It's a place where people move to specifically because of the schools and because it's known to be a good place to raise a family. We came here 12 years ago. We like the, the people, the city. We was looking for a better education for our sons. Anthony joined the FCB Escola through one of our trials. The opportunity for a local talent to participate, it's beyond uh, a dream come true to them. They're able to watch their heroes on TV and, and be able to play for the same academy, learn the same drills. They are living their dreams. We decided to move near to the club and the way he can enjoy it and participate in the club. Initially, when we got the call, we were told that there was a shooting on the campus. Shots have been fired, and several people are being treated by emergency personnel. The Uber driver dropped Cruz off here in front of the school. He walked onto the campus, got into the freshman building. Anthony got a glimpse of Nicholas Cruz coming up the stairwell. When I released the problem, it's because I hear the conscious. He tried to run into one of the classrooms. He was unable to make it, but he was able to help make sure that the door to the classroom he was trying to get into closed um, so that the students inside that classroom were protected. <laughs> Anthony was shot a number of times. Walk me through what happened. I don't know what to say. You can do it in Spanish if you want. Okay, okay. Ahí fue donde yo pensé que iba a morirme. Y cerré la puerta. Y lo hice porque como ya iba a morirme, quise dar mi último momento a las personas para que se pudieran salvar y disfrutar más de la vida. I come like that. I tell him like I was gonna die and say thank you for everything. And he said, Dad, I get a shot in my leg and in my back too. And it was a terrible, terrible day. Yeah. Anthony was left in the hallway of the freshman building. Sir, you're not approaching the 12 or 1300 building. Stay at least 500 feet away at this point. First responders found him about 40 minutes after the shooting. He took his shirt off and tied up. Uh, his legs, so he stopped the blood, and I think that's saving his life. Cruz shot and killed several students on the third floor, injured several others. This is believed to be the deadliest high school shooting in American history. Talking about soccer, where his goals was, he, he lost the opportunity. It was take away from him because he was hurt very bad. His body sustained five bullet wounds in his legs, back, and armpit. He's got a metal rod in the bone of his left thigh, a metal piece in his right leg. 
He's undergone 11 surgeries and still cannot move the toes on his left foot. They removed part of the liver. They removed part of the lung. It was hard because I can't like take a shower, brush my teeth, go to the bathroom. Thank God, Alice is here. Uh, Alice is alive. I received a text from the Barcelona club. When we watched the news, the club decided that this guy is inspiring us. We want to help and support the family and Anthony. They made an invitation. They had to wait for him to be healthier in order to experience a once in a lifetime opportunity. We tried to tell him, you know what, Anthony, they call you from Barcelona. They, they tried to reach you. He was so sleepy because he got into the surgery and say, like this. Yeah. <laughs> he went to surgery so happy that day. I was like, what? This is now. Not real. Maybe I'm asleep. <laughs> My dream is always to be a professional and go play with Barcelona. Barcelona is my life, it's my dream. I was two months in the hospital. Okay, we're going to hold it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. One, two, three. Up. Walker. Left. All right, reach for the chair. That feeling that I'm going to see my team impulse him to recover faster, it was a miracle. He said, you know what, Mom, I need to move forward. I want to touch that grass. <laughs> Anthony Borges has won the hearts of folks here in Parkland, the nation, and really out of the around. hospital and being hailed a hero. Anthony Borges, who suffered five gunshot wounds as he helped bring 20 students to safety. 2019 Young Hero Honoree, Anthony Borges. It's weird, like, people coming here. I do what I have to do. I don't think that I want to call, like, a hero. I think the definition for him is different. Hero doesn't get hurt. That's why he said, what are you coming hero? If I get five bullets, I, I can play football again. And it was so hard because you don't only have to handle the situation about your body. You have to think about mentally what you went through. It's a small body that has so much pain and so much damage. He sometimes, he got a nightmares. He wake up in the middle of the night crying sweating, kind of scared. He'd say, I'm going to Barcelona. It's going to be the biggest thing. It's going to erase the whole bad thing happened to him. Amazing. I don't have words to describe how beautiful it is. I really want to play now over there. <laughs> I want to go over there and play. Showing him what we are doing here, what he did in, in the Barcelona Academy in Fort Lauderdale is exactly the same. Well, it's me a lot to me. It's like a miracle. It's a dream come true. After all, the tragedy, uh, he can play again. It's very emotional because we never think he can able even walk. Now he can run. <laughs> so the scene is set. Barcelona could open. Leon here, Messi. It's Usman Dembélé. This is the big man's football, and Barca have done it once again. Anthony's a great kid. I think God has uh, some mission for him. I gotta believe that, I, I wanna believe that, because with all the wounds, all the shots, Anthony was not supposed to be alive. 